Yo, 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 yo. What is up, my people? I hope everyone is doing okay. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday afternoon. Happy midweek to everybody, man. Uh, such a blessed day. I hope everybody's doing okay. And I am well and blessed, as always. That will never change. I'm well and blessed, guys. So, this morning, man, it was extremely cold, about 30 degrees, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but guess what? Your boy decided to ride to work. So I'm just getting off of work. I'm heading home. And uh, just because I have the bike, I'm like, yeah. Let's just talk, man. Let me talk to my people. Yeah, I hope your day is going great. Get out of this car, man. I hope your day is going great. Uh, mine was very well. <laughs> Look at the traffic, man. Look at those traffic. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever it is, we're going to get home. We're going to make it home one way or the other. Yep. We are going to make it home one way or the other. Yes, sir. Yeah, I woke up this morning and uh, it was extremely cold. Uh, my body said no, but my mind was like, yes. For some reason, I like to ride in the cold because I got to put on all, all my gear and um, I stay warm. So the cold air hits your face and you, you cannot sleep, man. <laughs> You're gonna be up. So I, I, I like it, man. I like it when I um, when I ride in the cold, man. But let's see what um, what Atlanta have for us, man. Now I'm heading to uh, I'm heading into Atlanta. I told you guys, my office is in, is in the south side, so I have to ride through Atlanta every day. I get up for work. Well, not in Atlanta, like portion of it. So let's see how today goes. Um, yeah, it was extremely cold this morning, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. The cold don't bother me. Uh, at this time, most people are coming to the end of their riding season. This is as much as cold as it gets here. <laughs> and if I'm able to ride in this weather, oh yeah, you know I ain't got no riding season. Let me get away from this guy. Yeah, if I'm able to ride in this weather, I have no problem, man. And also, I made a video about uh, two weeks ago regarding the Sportster S, whether or not if, if it's a city bike. And that was the very first time that I actually vlog on the highway. And I was a little bit concerned about my audio, but it, it turned out very nice, man. I'm very, very impressed with the system, man. Uh, everything is wireless, so. I'm very, very impressed, man. It, it turned out very nice. I thought I was gonna scrap the whole thing and uh, um, redo it. But, and this morning it was dark. It was extremely dark when I when I left the house and I'm gonna throw some footage on there so maybe you guys can see but um I had my little uh, light strips on which that keeps me safe as always you gotta be seen man you gotta be seen I saw that um I made a visit to um cycle gear also I believe it was the same day, but I just have to break the video into two. And that was my very first time that I saw the um, the, uh, the airbag vest, which Cycle Cruiser always, you know, feature on his channel. 
And man, I tell you, seeing that in person was just so impressed, man. And that thing is almost $700. This is $699 before taxes. So I'm pretty sure after taxes, you're probably gonna walk out of the door, maybe six, uh, 7.30, something like that. But man, I need to invest in one of those, man. It felt so good on my body, and I truly appreciate it. Sometimes, stuff that you see online, or even on a Facebook, uh, I should call it um, YouTube, and other places, it's always good to see it in person, you know? Because um, I, I was really not convinced about that airbag, you know, uh, vest. Until I saw one in person, I felt it, and as soon as I, um, I, I throw it on, I said, man, I need me one of those. So sometimes it's good to see stuff in person so you can actually make a judgment from there, but it was so nice to see it in person, so I, I think I'm gonna put it on my bucket list, you know? Um, this bike here, uh, you can put on a, what we call a heated grips. As you guys can see, these are the stock ones. These are the stock uh, grips that came with it. And uh, you can actually buy a uh, heated grips and put it on. And I can see the use of it, man. I um, Sometimes my hand gets cold. And um, yeah, I can see me using it in the winter time. So that's something else that uh, I'm gonna, you know, see if I can uh, invest in one. I knew this since last year, but you know, it's just like um, when you don't need, when you don't need something, you just talk about it. By the time that you need it, you be like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. But as soon as the season or whatever that you really needed it for is gone, you kind of forget about it until it happened again and you be like, oh my God, I gotta go get this, you know? That That's pretty much the same thing with this heated grapes. You know, last uh, winter, I told myself that I, man, I can, uh, I can see me grabbing me one of those. But um, as soon as the season went away, I kind of forget about it. So this morning, as I was riding in, I said, man, I wish I had me one of those uh, heated grapes. But it's good because this bike, uh, you know, it didn't come with one. But you can buy it and then, you know, have the dealers, of course. The dealers don't want you to do anything to your bike. So uh, you can have them install it and, um, you know, you'll be good. So, yeah, that, that, that too, I'm going to have to put it on the tab somewhere along the line. But wait till you see me with, um, in a very nice uh, weather condition and, you know, go ahead. All right, you don't want to go? Yeah, wait till you see me in a very warm condition and I'm gonna forget about everything <laughs> until uh, the cold hits you again, you know? But what are we gonna talk about today? What can I, I was thinking about something that I, I, I used to do and I stopped doing it and I said, man, I think, um, this will this will be a conversation that I can have with my with my viewers, with my people, man, with my nation, with my community. <laughs> so I say, wh wh why am I even doing this YouTube? Why am I doing? And I can I can actually you know see someone just asking me for that, like, hey, Grant, why are you doing YouTube? Uh, two things, two, two things, two reasons why I'm doing the YouTube. Uh, I have two reasons why I'm doing this YouTube thing, man. And I'm, I'm gonna share with you. Traffic don't look that bad. Looks like it's moving. Uh, they are not down. It's kind of back up a little bit. Look at that. But, um, southbound, look, look at all that. And they're not even quite close to the city yet. But yeah, uh, Southbound is good. And that's what I like, man. 
this this route I have no option but to take it because I can take the back roads to work the only difference is I'm gonna add about 15 miles on top of my commute and I don't think it makes sense look at all this I hope you guys can see it look at that um, yeah the traffic sucks here man the traffic sucks it doesn't matter the day the time and I'm gonna catch one it's coming up ahead of me so I'm gonna catch one but anyway I can I can see someone or hear someone asking me grand what I what, why are you doing this YouTube two reasons number one I have acquired a lot of knowledge on on YouTube um, I remember back back in the days when I was in college um, not so much when I was getting my bachelor's because my bachelor's I have a bachelor's in uh, filmmaking and studio production and uh, I have an MBA for my master's I was doing my doctorate and I'm like man I don't think I need this um, so I stopped that Maybe, maybe someday I'll go back. There's no age limit, so <laughs> uh, I can always go back. But so when I was in um, when I was in college, man, YouTube helped me out a lot. I did a lot of research, and uh, majority of my answers were on there. Not all of them. Not today that we have a uh, uh, chat GPT and all that that can write your papers and all that. No, it was a little different kind of world, you know, but I acquired a lot of knowledge on there. And uh, while I'm not working, or I'm waiting for something to show up, I think uh, it would be nice for me to give you back what I've learned, you know. Um, so that is one main reason why, well not main, but both of them are really um, extremely important. Like both of them are really, uh, so this is one reason. I want to give it back uh, pretty much everything that I've learned. And sometimes too, um, when, I'm, when I'm searching for something, I, I'm a very practical guy, you know. I'm very practical and um, the way I use my things, uh, the way I consume my stuff, it's a little different from most people. So, for example, let, let, let's just take this bike or this camera, for example. Everybody uses it differently. The way I use it, let me get away from this trailer. The way I use this camera is very simple. Okay, I already have a, a cam, which is my uh, DJI Action 4, and um, this is my B cam and C cam. This camera is about 20 cameras in one because it shoots the entire 360 um, sphere. So it's a lot of camera in one, one little body. So everybody buys it for a different purpose, for a different reason. You know, some use it for uh, solely uh, 360. I I normally don't you know, like I shoot in 360, but anytime I uh, export it, I don't export in 360. I think I have a a, a short, too short that I did it with I did with it, where um, I kind of uh, let the app do my own uh, do its own uh, editing for me, like the AI. I uh, did the editing for me about about one minute or 50 seconds. It's not that long. But mainly, I don't use this camera for 360. At least not yet. Not yet. Um, but these two cameras are two different tools, you know. And what I mainly use it for, it's like an action cam. So, the way I intend to use it, I can't, I can't even find any, any video pertaining to that because everybody have a, their own way of using it. 
So that is the reason why I did this YouTube channel. So if I have something that uh, somebody want to buy, you know, at least they will have a little taste, you know, because this, when I export it, I'll export it in two files. One is like a close up of me. And then the other one is like a wide shot. That's when you see the whole bike. I'll see if I, you know, I'm pretty sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. But majority people that does um, a vlogging or use this camera, they, they don't use it the way I use it. So I, 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 um, I want to share like my style, you know, the, you know, of using, you know, different things and how I feel, you know, because uh, majority of the time, like the manufacturer may leave like specs and all that kind of stuff on their product. I don't go by that of that uh, th th those numbers, man. They will leave a whole list of specs and all that. No, no. I'm just an average consumer, and if you if I buy it and it works for me, then I'm gonna share it. And my thought will be different from uh, you know somebody else. You know, everybody we we are not the same. You know, I remember uh, when I was in a film school, uh, they would give us a script. To go shoot a video on or something or film make a, a short film and the same script you'll be very very surprised everybody in the class will come up with something different but it's the same script you know so people see things a little differently um i'm just gonna chill i'm not gonna uh, lane split or anything like that but if my thing kicks in, I might as well just go ahead and lens with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just trying to chill and talk to you guys, so I'm not gonna do anything like that. But um, yeah, one script. Everybody have their own way, the style, you know, the, the shot list, camera angles, you know, uh, the effect. Pretty much everybody's got their own style, you know, but it's the same script. So I guess, you get my point, right? You get my point. So, that's one reason why I chose to uh, do YouTube so I can also share my own experience and my own opinion about consuming things or using stuff. So now I do a little bit of unboxing and I'll tell a little bit, a little backstory. Like I, I'm gonna have a iPhone unboxing, iPhone 16 unboxing coming up pretty shortly. And I have my reason why, because this one is iPhone 12. And I I used to, um, when I was in college, I mean, because you're a film, you know, film student, you gotta be a tech savvy. You gotta be, um, you know, um, <laughs> you, you gotta know it all. Let, let's just put it like that. And I've been using iPhone since the day one that it came out. You know, so, I used to uh, upgrade my phone like all the time. Every year I would upgrade my phone until this one, the 12, and I'm like, this is a waste of money because when it comes to Apple and Windows, I prefer uh, Apple all because they, uh, the system lasts long, okay? I have my first MacBook Pro, the original one, the OG, I still have it in the house. That thing will boot up and it works, but it's super slow. Like you can't even use it for a Word document. It's super slow, you know? So, uh, and I have had Windows. Um, I have an HP uh, Windows that I bought it, mainly just to write my papers. That thing didn't even last, you know, before I graduate, um, it, it wouldn't even work anymore, you know? So, um, that's, 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 you know, reason number one, okay? So, um, I just wanna share my knowledge, you know, that I've learned over the years. Some majority of them on YouTube University, that's what I call it. And then uh, majority of them is by experience because most of the stuff that they teach you in school, you, you've gotta go out there and learn it yourself. Yep, you've gotta go out there and learn it yourself. They, they cannot teach you that. So, um, you know, so my experience and, you know, things like that nature. Um, that's number one. Number two, I want to leave some kind of legacy behind. You know what I mean? Because to me, it doesn't look like YouTube is going anywhere anytime soon. 
just like Facebook, like social media. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, guys. So when I'm dead and gone, like a hundred years to come, or I don't know, 200, only if we're still alive. <laughs> you know, my grandkids, my great, great grandkids, you know, they will turn on the, um, they will log on to YouTube and they will like, oh, that's my grandfather, man. He was cool, man. You know, doing all these kind of videos and all that. You know, just memory, guys. It's just memories. Um, that's it. So, um, I, I was watching uh, some of, uh, I think, a film or a documentary. I, I forgot exactly what the story was. But basically, what the guy did was... Um, all the photos, all the memories that he captured on his kids, right? When the kids were growing up, when they were, you know, toddlers and all that kind of stuff. Because sometimes you have, you know, natural disaster. If you live in a place like Georgia, Florida, look what happened to uh, Texas, you know? Uh, so if you have natural disaster and uh, you have a flood or fire, you know, you could, you could pretty much lose everything, you know? So what this guy was doing is uh, all those photos that he took of his kids, he created an email account <laughs> for each and every one of them. So if this photo belongs to um, Joe, he will send it to Joe's email uh, account. So if this photo belongs to Amber, he will send it to Amber's email account. So when all the kids grew up, he provided them with uh, the passcode, the password, the uh, email addresses, and the password. He gave it to them, and it was such a like it was so emotion, man. Um, so what I did was I started using a uh, Google. Um, Google has a uh, something similar like that, but you only get like five gigs of uh, storage. And I, I stopped doing it. So, maybe someday when I'm dead and gone, which, you know, it's inevitable, it's gonna happen one way or the other. But are you ready? I am. That's a story for another day. But when I'm dead and gone, maybe my kids, my grandkids, you know, in this case, they don't even need a password. They just, you know, type in the name Grand Diesel, and hopefully they will see their dad, they will see their grandfather, their great-grandfather, and great-great-great-grandfather. So they can have something to live for, you know? The traffic was not that bad. At all. And because I, uh, I'm on the bike, you know, I gotta, you know, do a little stuff here and there. But really, it's not that bad. And I think I left office a little bit early today, so that too might be a reason. And I'm not even speeding, as you guys can see. I didn't lay split or anything like that. I'm just, you know, I'm surprised, man. Anyway, I'm not gonna jinx it. I still have to uh, drive home. <laughs> so, actually, you guys wanna go to the Holly store with me? Um, nah, I'm tired, I have a little headache. I promise you guys, uh, we, we, we're gonna make it happen. I promise you guys, man. Because the Holly store is not uh, the dealership. It's not too far away from here, so. But um, yeah, I promise you guys, we'll make it happen, okay? Oh, and this Saturday, remember you guys, I've been telling you that I'm gonna go for a test drive with uh, the Can-Am? So, let me tell you guys something, man. Something very funny. Apparently, these guys... So, if you know how the Can-Am is, it, it is a trike, but it's a different form of trike, okay? Um, and the riding uh, economics is a little different. It's a learning curve. So, they're not gonna let you like, okay, here, take it and go, no. They have to put you in a class, like 10 minute class, show you around, and do all that kind of stuff. And then after that, you get to get 20 minutes of ride time 
you know, and then, you know, we take it from there. So I called them. All these times that I've been talking, I thought I can just walk in there and hop on one and, you know, no. And on top of that, they put you in the class. Do you got to get a license? That I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused because I have a motorcycle license. So I don't know the kind of license. Maybe, um, I don't know. We're going to find out. So this Saturday, 1 o'clock, I have that appointment with them. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be my first time being on a Can-Am. And uh, yeah, I really want me one. Um, so we'll find that out. Yeah, I um, I thought that was a little bit interesting. They say, yeah, you have to sign up and uh, uh, we have a, cl a class coming up or some kind of a, a demo ride. Yeah, that's the word they use, demo ride. So uh, they explained to me, you get a 30 minutes, half an hour total. Uh, the first 10 minutes is, you know, and I think uh, it, uh, it kind of makes sense for them to show you around the bike because um, it's not like a, a regular bike, like one of these where you flip out the switch and then, you know, crank it. With a Can-Am, there's a process, you know. You gotta uh, disengage the, um, you gotta disengage the, um, the pocket at the emergency brake. You gotta put something in neutral, you gotta do this. You gotta push something in the back and um, go ahead and start it. So it's a it's a it's a learning curve, you know. So that that portion, I I, I agree with them. But uh, they're talking about you need a license and all that. I hope <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find that out on Saturday. So, but you guys, that is you know the main reason why I'm doing this YouTube. You know, just to give it back to the community, all the stuff that I've learned, and majority of them is filmmaking, guys. Um, I hope you guys have seen my trailer. I'm still working with a distributor uh, for them to uh, bring it out. Uh, that's that was my last film that I made. I haven't really been working due to my injuries, but um, it's coming. So, just want to give it back to the community. And then also leave all this memory, not so, I won't call it legacy, but if it is, you know, I mean, my goal is to grow this channel, you know, so people, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who would love to hear your voice uh, because the way I do mine is a little different from everybody else. I'm not saying mine is the best, mine is perfect. I mean, we got big, big, big channels that sometimes they talk crazy. I, I listen to some of them and I'm like, what the hell? But again, they have the platform, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna name no names or anything like that. But yeah, my goal is to grow this channel so uh, people can hear you, you know, um, they can relate to the things that you share with them. Um, that, that, that's the whole point, you know? So I hope um, I didn't bore you for today. Um, I had no plans, trust me, I had no plans to make this video, but um, since I rode into work, and this is the first time I rode into work since I started vlogging. I used to ride this bike uh, all the time, like four days, five days a week. But this year I haven't really rode it that much because um, Sometimes my body, you know, uh, my body say no, and my mind say yes, so I fight, you know, I fight. Like I said before in my previous videos, it takes me a long time, I'll say a good, at least a good 15 minutes to get ready for this, you know, <laughs> to, to, to hop on here. So um, that alone, just by thinking about that, I'm like, nah, uh, I can do better. Let me just hop in the car and go. You know, but since I started the vlogging, this is my very first time that I've taken it uh, to work. And my co-workers and uh, my managers, man, they love the bike. Like anybody that sees it, they just love it. I, I took a photo and uh, we have a Facebook group for the Harley Davidson Sportster S. I took a photo and put it on there and people just like it and comment. And it's just, yeah, it's just, um, 
it's a different feeling let me put it like that so anyways thank you so much for joining me once again it's your boy Grand Diesel just stay tuned for more videos and go out there spread some love and always remember that God loves you man and I love you too just leave a comment down below you know what to do what's up popo um, you know what to do so just go ahead and do all that you can and I will see you guys in my next video adios